Triple One Whiskey Kilo here. Just got the new Garmin Flightstream 210 installed here in the panel. And just going through the motions, checking it out. And it seems to be working really nicely. I enjoy that you can go from your four flight on your iPad, input a flight plan as complex as you want it to be, and load it up to the panel via Bluetooth and initiate it, and then you're flying that route. Let's do a quick trip here. Let's go to, let's go from Frederick up to say uh, EMI, and then up to KLNS, which is Lancaster. And let's pick a few things here. Let's go to, uh, let's use Victor 3 to Vinny. That's waypoint Vinny. And let's go to Roast. And we'll go Lancaster. And that should be good. Now, let's load this from here up to the panel. Now, that's done when you get the system, the Bluetooth, installed in the plane, the, the 210. You have to initiate in the panel Bluetooth on the GNS unit. And what that does is then it talks to the iPad. It's just a one-time deal. Once it knows your iPad, it knows it. And then you'll have this icon appear up here with the airplane and the connect feature if you push that it'll ask you to send this flight plan to the panel so I'm going to go ahead and send it to the panel and what will happen this one is currently configured to go to the 430 first you can go to the 530 if you have the COM port for it so we go to flight plan there's our flight right there so we'll highlight that I'll hit enter, it'll act, ask you to activate it, you hit enter, and then what will happen is it'll send it up to the panel above, and there you can see on the Avidyne that it's loaded in. Now, if you make a change in the 530, like you do an approach, let's say we need to do the approach up there now. Select Approach. It seems like it's easier to select the approach right on the 530 itself. So I guess we're going to do, I don't know, anything. RNAV 26. We'll hit Enter. And I guess we'll go to Headed. Hit Enter. I'll go ahead and activate it. What will happen then is that'll send it down to the iPad, it asks you to load route from panel. So it sent it back down to ForeFlight. I'll load that. Now we will probably never ever get that. They'd vector us around for the approach. But what that's done now is it's loaded it in from the panel back down. I find it easier to go from the panel to load the approach than it is from the ForeFlight and the iPad back up to the panel. So with that, you don't have to turn the knob a million times to plug in all of your route identifiers. And that takes forever on the ground. This saves a lot of time. And you can use as many stored routes as you wish. Let's go from, uh, let's go from Frederick down to Stewart, Florida. There's the route. Let's load it real quick. Send a panel. It's that quick. Go up here to flight plan. Oh, there it is. Highlight it. Enter it. Activate it. Wait for it to plug it into the top. There it is. And it should load over here. There it goes. I won't be able to get all of this on here. Give me a second to configure. And it's taking us all the way down. To Florida just like shown on the iPad it's a great unit also 
if you're flying with four flight, it has AHARS available to it also. Which is a nice feature. So now the Garmin Flightstream 210 has built in GPS and it will also talk to the floor flight and give you this feature, which is a, a nice standby unit. Thanks for watching. It's Triple One Whiskey Kilo, and we're signing off.